Hello, my name is Kea, also known as Comfy Girl Curls, and welcome to my channel. And I can't believe I just said that for the very first time. Here we are. This is the first video that I have ever filmed specifically for YouTube and it's noisy, it's Vancouver, it is raining outside, and I apologize for any awful audio. So if you've come here because you follow me on my other platforms, thank you for coming over here and supporting me. Your support means the world. I feel like I have built the coolest community ever, and I am really excited to see how that grows here on YouTube. And if you are new here and don't really know what I'm about, I am a natural hair and lifestyle blogger, and I love, 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 love Love sharing information and resources so you'll find a lot of content creation and Instagram social media tips on this channel as well. For those who have been following me on Instagram for a while you know I have been talking about starting a YouTube channel for years. I've done polls, I've asked you guys questions, what should I focus on, should I really bother doing it, and every time it was an overwhelming yes you guys are just so incredibly supportive but I chickened out always at the last minute. So I thought it would be fun to talk about the five reasons why I did not want to start a YouTube channel and then, you know, why I'm doing it anyways. So here we go. Reason number one why I did not want to start a YouTube channel. I hate the sound of my voice. That one actually took me a while to get over. I started getting more comfortable with my voice by doing Instagram stories and talking into the camera. I had an Instagram account for years and none of my followers knew what my voice sounded like because I just refused to let anybody hear it. And slowly but surely, stories after stories, and then eventually I remember I decided to make an IGTV video and it was just baby steps, baby steps, baby steps until I really felt comfortable with how my voice sounded. And here we are now, comfortable enough with my voice to be able to start a YouTube channel. Still don't necessarily like it, but it is what it is. Reason number two. Two. I don't think I'm high energy enough for YouTube. I say that because we see so many of these super successful YouTubers, they're just like bam, in your face, high energy, just so engaging, like always on. And I just don't think that's me at all. I mean, I don't think, I know it's not me. And I was really hesitant to even try YouTube because I had already written myself off. I was like, nope. That's not me, never gonna be me. Nobody's gonna watch me, they're gonna think I'm monotone or boring. But I realized that I like to watch people who are a little bit more subdued, a little bit more like me, and I like to think that there's somebody out there that wants to see natural hair and lifestyle content, but from somebody with my personality. So here's hoping, and don't get me wrong, I can be very hyper and strange and silly and weird. Number three. I did not want to start a YouTube channel because of the time commitment. I blog and do social media influencing content creation. I do all of that around a full-time job and it is a lot, it is overwhelming, and it is draining. So the idea of launching a YouTube channel, something where I had to dedicate time to filming, editing, strategic research, keyword research, the same things basically that I do for my blog for a whole other platform, that just sounded daunting and horrible. But I have planned it out a bit and I think I am going to be okay. I plan to batch my content so when I already have my camera out to take photos, So if I have my camera out anyways, I am going to take that extra bit of time and create video content as well. So if my hair is already done, my makeup and clothing is done, I mean not today, this is like casual cozy, then I will spend that extra time while I'm already ready to film something. And when it comes to more of the back end strategy, I plan to do that at the same time as I do my blogging research. So I use Key Search, which is a fantastic SEO resource. Not only does it have a Google keyword search tool, it also has a YouTube search tool. So it will tell you how competitive a keyword or key phrase is 
and how many people are searching for it monthly. But now as I plan future content, I can just open up key search and I can do both my blog and my YouTube keyword research at the same time. How many times can a person say keyword in a sentence? Yeah, so batching will be key, but I am somebody who is prone to getting overwhelmed, so we'll see how that one goes. I'm optimistic. <laughs> So reason number four why I did not want to start a YouTube account. The commenters seem really, really mean. It is common knowledge that the YouTube comment section is one of the most toxic places on the internet. I know I'm a soft soul and I did not want to put myself out there and open myself up to the potential of being bullied. But I thought about it some more and when it comes to bullying and trolling and nasty comments, you can find the same thing on Twitter and you can find the same thing on Instagram. And I've managed to cultivate a really incredible supportive community on both those platforms and I have never received hateful comments. So I thought, why can't I build the same community here on YouTube? And last but not least, the fifth reason why I did not want to start a YouTube account oversaturation. I feel like you hear that term over and over and over again. YouTube's oversaturated with vloggers and natural hair content and vlogging tips, so why bother trying? But you know what? Oversaturation is not a problem that is exclusive to YouTube. I mean, you go over to Instagram, type in hashtag natural hair, you will see it is extremely saturated. It's really hard to stand out. But again, I feel like over on Instagram, I have found a community, I have found an audience, brands have found me, even though there are probably literally millions of other people doing the exact same thing I'm doing. So don't let anybody tell you that an industry is oversaturated or a niche is oversaturated. Just go do it. Don't let it stop you. So those are the five reasons why I did not want to start a YouTube account. Those reasons literally held me back for years and I'm glad that I am over them. All in all, I am super excited to be here and I'm glad that I got out of my head and finally, finally did it and I'm excited to go on this journey with you guys. If you are interested in coming along on this journey with me, please like and subscribe. I never thought I would say that. And let me know what sort of videos you'd like to see from me in the future. Thank you.